Hey guys, sorry this video took forever to upload. I got busy with family and the holidays. On to the video for today. We will be doing the most requested video on the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop Build Series. That is swapping the HP Pavilion's gaming case into a new PC gaming case. The current specs on the TG01-0023W HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop are 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, Ryzen 5 3500, 256 GB SSD, NVMe, 400W power supply, and a 1650 Super. All parts mentioned in the video today will be in the description below the video. We chose the Thermaltake UX100 for our CPU cooler. I chose the ASRock B450M Pro 4 for our motherboard. I chose the EVGA Supernova 750B2 power supply. Antec NX410 case. Cooler Master High Performance Thermal Compound. To start the swap off, you're going to take the side panel off your HP Pavilion. I'm using this toolkit right here. All links will be in the description, but this is what it looks like. In case any of you guys are wondering. It comes with all of this. For this, you'll just need a flathead. Side screws right here. Once that's loose, pull it this way. We're gonna take as much out of here as we can. So you're gonna wanna take out the CPU first. So you're gonna loosen the four screws right here here, here, and one back here. Once that's undone, pull the fan plug out. Pull this up and put it aside. You'll want to clean this with some isopropyl alcohol before you put it onto the motherboard over here. You'll take this little lever right here, push it aside, and pull up, and you can get your CPU out. Now you're going to want to put this CPU on the motherboard. Process is the same thing. Pull this tab to the side, pull up, and then insert the CPU in the proper orientation. And it'll just slide into place and then you can lock it back down. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, if you're going to use this RAM, is you're going to pull that RAM out. And the way you do that, is you just take this tab, push it down, rotate it around, another tab right here, pull that down, pull it out. Now I'm not going to be using this RAM, I'm going to be using the Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, and I have that right here. Move that out of the way. Now I put these in your motherboard. You do have to push down a little bit, but don't be scared, it'll be okay. You want to line this up with this, put this side in first, once it's aligned you just push down and you'll hear it pop into place. We're going to do the other one. Some people stagger them so they put one here and here. I'm just going to stagger it, but you can do whatever you want. Unless you have that in place, you're going to move this to the side for a minute. You're going to come back here. You're going to loosen this up right here. Pull this up. Unplug the power for the GPU. Push this up. And then, in the case, you can see right here, there's this little thing to get the GPU out on the, on the riser. For the PCIe slot for the graphics card, you like this, and then you pull it up. The next thing you're going to want to grab is the NVMe. There's a little screw right here. Be careful not to lose it. And you're going to need a small Phillips for that. Make sure you don't lose the screw because it is tiny. And you can pull this out. Move that out of the way. Take your motherboard, and you're going to want to put this 
NVMe right here. So when you push it in, it's going to line up. There'll be a little slot right here that you'll have to line up on the motherboard. But once you get it in there, you're going to push in just a little bit and it will kind of pop into place. And then you know it's in correctly whenever it's like doing this. It has a little spring to it. I'll take that little screw and you want to hold this down. You want to screw it back in place. Once that's screwed in, now you can take this computer because you're basically done with this and you don't need this anymore. Now next, I'm going to put it on the CPU cooler. Now if you plan on reusing this one, the one that came with the HP originally, you can just clean it off and then apply some thermal grease and screw it back on. But I'm going to be using this, so I'm going to show you guys how to install this one. To install this heatsink to your motherboard, you will need these things. They come with your motherboard. You need two of them. You basically, they attach like this on each side of the heatsink. And to put them on your motherboard, you just put them like this. And then you'll just screw in the screws. Once that's all done, you can take this, there'll be a little sticker on the back of it, pull that off, this one comes with thermal grease, but I'm just going to use the stuff that I already have. I don't usually use this one, but it's all they had in stock. You want to put about a pea size in the middle of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and make sure you get it on the little lip on each side. Now to install this one, I'm not going to lie, it takes a lot of pressure with this. You get the other side on first, then off this little like angled L-shaped bracket. Push on it, pull it down, and then when you get it down all the way, you're going to basically try to turn it out to put some force on the back side of it, if that makes sense. Now, obviously, you can just plug this in really quick. This goes up where, the C where it says CPU fan, right up here. Right there. Now, depending on what brand motherboard you go with, in the instructions, it will say where you can uh, sync it to your motherboard for the RGB. Since this is an ASRock, uh, you're going to need the ADDR LED Addressable RGB LED header. Which on this motherboard is right down here. And you're going to put the D1 on this one, the second from the left, and this one goes on the very far one. Alright, now that that's hooked up, let's get the case out and let's mount the motherboard. Now that this is all done, the motherboard is basically assembled. We were to take the motherboard and we're going to put the and put it aside and we're going to put the power supply inside the case. Alright, once you have your power supply ready and your case, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your case, the back panel, and you can flip it back on the side like so. So I'm going to be putting the power supply in. This has basically everything I already need on it. I don't need to have any of these extra ones. I just got this one so I can upgrade in the future in case I want to. But this is basically everything you need. Now some people say you can put the fan up 
Some people say you can put it down. I'm gonna put mine facing down. Uh, one big reason is, if you look at the writing on this, right here, uh, it would be upside down if you had it in the case like that. Also, this has stands, so this will be off the ground on hardwood floor, so this can actually vent the heat from the power supply and not just throw it back into the case. Once you have this basically in there, once that's how you want it, take your little bag of screws that came with the power supply. And then you take your tool and you're gonna insert all the screws. Be careful not to drop them like I just did. Now that's all done, I'm gonna put this IO shield in. Make sure you have it in the proper orientation. And once you have that, I'm gonna wire mine pretty cleanly. So I'm gonna take this little zip, little bread tie off and grab the cord for the CPU. Which is uh, this one. Oh, nope. And I'm gonna map it up here. So that when I have the motherboard in, I can put it right here. And then I can basically attach it to my motherboard, simply. Put that open, grab your motherboard. Make sure it has all the standoffs in the right places that you need it. And then you can put the motherboard on in. Put that in there, you can take your hardware screws that came with the case, and you're gonna attach them to the motherboard. Once you have all the screws for the motherboard in, take that wire that I told you to run up the top, right here. And you wanna plug your motherboard right here. Once that's plugged in, turn your case back up on its the proper standing way. Once it's like this, take your motherboard's power cord, power cable, slide through one of these. And then attach it to your motherboard. Now we're gonna attach our graphics card. To do that, Close the side panel really quick and go to the back. Open this up, loosen this up. And then decipher where you want your graphics card to be. So mine's gonna be right here. So that means I gotta pop out these two. And they should just push in. Take your card, put it in here. Make sure this little tab is pushed down. And then basically press your push your graphics card in until you hear it click. And you can put a screw in here to hold it into place. Once that's in, you're gonna go around the back and grab the power cord for your graphics card. Then you're gonna plumb it through one of these, whichever one of your choice, and put that in. Also, by the way, for this case, if you wanna remove the side panel, you can just pull up on it, and it will just pop off like so. So we're gonna wire in the front panel and then all the headers right here. So I'm gonna run mine through this bottom hole right here. And I'm gonna take this, and this goes right here. And that's for the front USBs, I believe. Now for these, they're gonna be labeled HD Audio USB, and those are gonna be down here. Now on your motherboard, it's gonna say HD Audio, 
and then it'll say like USB. And you can kind of tell by just the orientation of how the, the holes are on the plug. So this one will go right here. And the HD audio will go right back here in the corner. All of these individual ones, they're labeled too. HD, our hard drive LED, and they'll be on your case too, also labeled. So say like power, pause, uh, power switch, power LED, reset switch, power switch. So that's all of these. And you're gonna wanna plug these in according to your motherboard. All you gotta do to get the fans to work is take this Molex and plug it into the fans Molex. That's all you gotta do. All right, it's all done. It's the most satisfying part. All right, here's the final product. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys so you guys can tell me what you guys think in the comments. Turn the lights off so you guys can see the RGB a lot better. And then I'm going to turn down my studio lights. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me swapping this case. Overall, I would definitely recommend doing this. This case is awesome looking as you guys can tell. Hope you guys have a great weekend and happy holidays.